This week, the world celebrated International Mother Language Day, a day that was formally recognized by the United Nations and UNESCO 23 years ago and has a lot more meaning than most people know. So joining us from Geneva, Switzerland, is a director of UNESCO's International Bureau of Education, Dr. Yao Yado. Director, thank you so much for being here and welcome to CAP Review. So there was actually a protest in Bangladesh 70 years ago that inspired International Mother Language Day. Can you tell us about what that movement was about? that eventually led to this global observance. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. First of all, uh, let me say that the idea of uh, uh, celebrating this International Mother Tongue Day was the, an initiative, as you said, it, of Bangladesh. Uh, it, it was approved at uh, a proposal of Bangladesh that was approved in 1995, 1999, sorry, uh, during the UNESCO General Conference and has been observed throughout the world since 2000. Uh, the idea to, uh, to celebrate this is that uh, uh, the date was not chosen at random, though. Uh, it uh, commemorates the fact that uh, in 1952, the, ten, the then Pakistan government decided to make Urdu the sole official language. Uh, however, Urdu was uh, spoken only by the part of the population in Pakistan, given the fact that 98% uh, uh, of the population in East Pakistan, now Bangladesh, spoke Bengali. That is why people took the streets on February 21st, 1990. 52 to protest against the plan. In uh, 1971, East pa Pakistan declared Bengali as the national language in the newly formed state of Bangladesh. So, Dr. Yado, what do you want people to take away from the message of International Mother Language Day? Day, like you said, young people die just to speak their native tongue. There is an, uh, this, uh, today, for instance, in Africa, Science and technology is the big challenge. We need scientists, we need technologists. But there is no single uh, famous scientist who known in the world who has started school in another language but his own mother tongue. It means that uh, uh, we, we kill the creativity and the science in uh, the people who start uh, school in another language than the one they speak. And uh, many reasons uh, for us uh, the protection of the uh, cultures also is very important. When a language dies, it dies with the culture. For instance, when I went to school, at that time, when you speak your mother tongue in class, you will be punished, which is not normal. School should be a place where different cultures and languages meet, nourish each other, and then people are uh, educated in that context. And we also need to, pro to for the takeaway of this, this year, the technology and the language. For instance, uh, technology can help preserve by digitalization the languages. You know, for instance, in South Africa, there is a, a language we speak, we speak with a click. We speak like this language. We only have one speaker last, a woman of 87 years old. And if this woman dies without uh, digitalizing this language, it means that the language will disappear with the culture. So it is important. And so what the, the real takeaway that we have decided, uh, we have discussed during this, uh, this year's celebration is that every country, every government should take the necessary measure to ensure that the languages are whatever important they are, they are digitalized, they are given the uh, importance and, th that, and they are used in school to preserve the cultures and also to facilitate the learning and uh, access to education by the, the, the native speakers of these languages. Of course, it, is, it doesn't mean that they, we have to neglect international languages, no. But children have to start learning in their own mother tongue, and then progressively they learn international languages because definitely we are in globalization. We cannot uh, tell, say that they are going to be kept in their own country. So we are making a strong advocacy for the promotion of uh, diversity, cultural diversities and multilingualism.
Definitely a valuable point and such a great cause. UNESCO Director Dr. Yao Yado, thank you so much for being here, all the way from Switzerland and for your time here on Capital Review. You are welcome. Thank you very much and uh, have a nice day.